Hey guys, welcome to the big promo cast. This show we like to highlight brands that are using custom merch for marketing and promotions to give business owners and marketers some ideas for their own campaigns. We'd really love it if you left us a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts, or even leave a comment down below this video. Got a few things on the list this week. Louis Vuitton has decided we all need a fancy lunch bag. Stanley, the Tumblr people have come out with a line of apparel. It's kind of fun. Juicy Couture and Red Robin have teamed up to do a pretty cool promotion. How about the Miller Lite Super Bowl promotion? Did you see that? Very interesting. And then Duncan also did a Super Bowl thing that people are just raving about. So let's get into it. You guys know who Pharrell Williams is or Pharrell Williams? He's a musician. He did the song uh, Happy and he did, uh, I think he worked on Blurred Lines. Anyway, he's also the men's creative director for Louis Vuitton. I did not know that. So he has dropped a Whopper. It's a sandwich bag that costs $3,000. Three large. What? The concept, they says, the design, I mean, it's it's a leather bag, sure. But it's it's three grand, man. Carrying lunch to the office from home can be one way to save money, except when your lunch is stored in a $3,000 bag. That's perfect. You know, we've talked about stuff like this before. We had the Yeti $400 skillet. We had the Rouse sauce pasta jar bag thing that was $1,000. Come on. This is not for regular people that are on the subway going to lunch every day. It's preposterous. It's absolutely preposterous. And it's three grand. Are you serious? It's three grand. There was a thing I read with can't find the link now, but Sherry, somebody, the girl who used to be on The View, Sherry, I forget her name. She reviewed this thing and said, if you're walking around New York City with this, you're going to get knocked over the head. I'm going to steal it from you. Don't do it. Because it says Louis Vuitton right on it. It's not like it's clandestine or anything. It's just crazy. It's absolutely insane. Sure, it's nice. Oh, she said she doesn't even have a strap on it. That's what she didn't like about it because it didn't have a strap. The bag is made of cowhide leather matching the color of Louis Vuitton's iconic shopping bags. It was designed to resemble a paper sandwich bag, complete with the LV lettering and blue fastening reminiscent of the gross grain handles of the brand's bags. Okay, that's great. A design element, that's fine. But you know, LV, was it LVMH? They're one of the biggest companies in the world. I guess they know what they're doing. I don't know who's going to buy this thing. And who's going to buy it and use it like it's intended to look? I could see somebody buying it like as a status thing, but actually putting your lunch in it and taking it to work. If you've got that kind of scratch, you're eating out. You're not taking your lunch to work. I'm pretty sure that's true. That's enough about that one. <laughs> Our buddies at Stanley, you know, they make those fancy 40 ounce tumblers and all that stuff. Well, they have come out with a line of apparel to go with those tumblers, which I don't know it's kind of interesting. Stanley's the one that makes these 40 ounce tumblers and all these different crazy colors and all the, Soccer moms love them, and people just love them, and they're crazy, and everybody is very popular. So anyway, they came out with this apparel line, and the apparel is, I mean, it's good. It's cool. It's, you know, is it expensive? Eh, kind of. But it's funny. The T-shirts has their little mugs on it. Their little mugs. Their little mugs are big as a house. They're like 40 ounces. I mean, for a size, this is 32 or 30. It's not 40. 40 would be 10% more or whatever, 25% more of that. Anyway, but people go crazy for their Stanley stuff. Crazy apparel. That's it. Just shirts and hoodies. Oh, I'm sorry. They got hats too. Oh, they also have wear the bear apparel, which is, I guess. Oh, okay. The whole thing is called wear the bear. They have their logo shirt. There's another logo shirt. They've got the, the tumblers and they've got socks. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's cool. Let's strike while the iron's hot, right? Like if people are into your stuff, you make them sell them more stuff. That's perfect. I like these. These are cool. These hats. Note to Stanley. This is a horrible, horrible navigation thing. I don't need a drop down that wipes out the entire page I'm looking at. But anyway, there's a crew neck shirt. Kind of cool. Sweatshirt. There is a hoodie with a gradient logo on it. I kind of like that. They've got their quencher love crew, which is the two quenchers. The quenchers is that is that tumbler mug. This is a, a dad hat, they call it, dad hats. I never understood that either. But that's got just the regular Stanley logo on it. A little bit of a, a throwback look to that one. Snapback cap. I'm not a snapback fan either. And then a corduroy cap. People love those too. They're partnering with influencers to promote the collection. This is a great way to reach a wider audience and generate excitement about the new products. They're using social media to promote this stuff. This is another great way to reach a wide audience and generate interest. Overall, Stanley's using a variety of creative and effective strategies to market their new apparel line. Using branded merch. Brands need to give fans what they want. If they want apparel, if they want to support you, they'll support you. And they love to do it. That's all I have about that one. Here in the U.S., we have a chain of restaurants called Red Robin. And they're known for their really juicy hamburgers. So it's only fitting that they came up with a collab with Juicy Couture. 
And Juicy Couture is a fashion line. They're known for track suits that have the word juicy written across the ass. So kind of fits. The track suits are 169 bucks. It includes tax and fees and shipping. But you know what? I went to go look at to shop the collection. You can't do it unless you're on Instagram on your phone. So here I am on their page. And if you go to visit the IG shop, you can't do it. Instagram app only. Really? Then you go back here to bring on the bling. Can't do it. Only on the app. While supplies last, shop now. Instant fail. Complete fail. A lot of people don't buy stuff on their phones. I don't because I don't have all my credit cards. I mean, I've got everything saved on my on my computer. I don't have anything saved on my phone. So you're probably missing some sales. But, you know, maybe you're cool with that. But they've got, you know, it's basically a tracksuit, a velour, whatever. Pants and a top. JC's logo's emblazoned on it. The uh, Red Robin logo's emblazoned on it. It's a cool idea. And, you know, it all goes back to giving your fans what they want. But, you know, don't make it hard on them. Friction, man. Why do you have to buy it on Instagram? And maybe somebody will convince me. Leave a comment and let me know why that's a good thing. You know, you shouldn't have any friction. This makes too much friction. Don't do that. Don't do it. This is a great example of how branded merch and apparel can be used for marketing. Also great a parable of how to piss off your customers. Who, I don't know, if I'm standing there with my card in my hand, I'm ready to buy something, you're going to make me move devices? It's one thing to go from one website to another, one platform to another. But get off one device and go to another one? Mm -mm, not a good thing. That's it for that one. That Super Bowl was fun, huh? Our buddies at Miller Lite, I'm a big fan. They did a really cool, non-official, big game promotion. Miller Lite took the game to a whole new level. They ran this running of the beer ads. And every shirt had a QR code. And every QR code was unique to the person that got that QR code. Miller Lite isn't running a big game ad this year. They're running 1,000, literally. Like him and her and me, Rob Riggle. There were a thousand shirts. First thousand fans that sign up received a kit. They get a hundred bucks. They get a runner sticker and a game time jersey with a QR code. Five fans receive beer money for a year by getting the most people to scan the code. People who scan the code win beer money too. We're not saying that you run through the streets, but when you run to the fridge during the game or whatever, it's awesome. I didn't get it on this, but a friend of mine did. He's also in the swag business. And here's what he says. It's more than just an ad. It's about making connections, sharing moments, and hey, who doesn't love free merch? Hey friends, those of you who know me know that one, I love running, two, I love branded merch, and three, well, I do love me some beer. So when Miller Lite selected me among a thousand people across the country to be part of a running human advertisement during today's big game as part of the running of the Beer Ads Beer Run, I said, of course, hold my beer. And he also points out that you know, he's actually in this business, so he knows. TV ad spending is down, even though the, Mil the Super Bowl is expensive. In general, as an industry, TV ad spending is down. However, people are buying promo like crazy. Right now, I mean, we do you know, almost $30 billion a year in promo stuff in our industry. You know, most of the commercials are like, you don't know who they are. You don't know. With very few, do you remember the person that was in it or what the commercial was about? He said he got 5,000 impressions from his posts alone. 5,000 from him. And he's one guy. So 1,000 people, if 1,000 people can get 5,000 each... That's a lot of damn impressions. It's a lot of people signing up for mailing lists, too, that, you know, TV ads didn't get that at all. So that's kind of cool. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of Miller Lite. I'm a big fan of Miller Lite's innovation. This is the kind of thing that is memorable, and people love it. Like I said, people love free merch. Our buddies at Dunkin' Donuts, man. Out of all the commercials, I think that one won if there was a contest. I think they won it all. Of course, it's Matt Damon, Tom Brady, and Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck is the lead, and his guise is that he's married to J-Lo, and so he's going to put a track on J-Lo's album. Hmm. She doesn't like it. Well, let me just play this. I don't think you should do this. Last year, she came to my work. Now I gotta show her what I can do. He's here. Ah, uh, flat on the track. What up, Brooks? For your consideration, here comes the Boston Massacre. The Dumb Keys. Touchdown, Tommy, on them keys. Play a coach. Got it. I'm open. And need no introduction, my partner. Sometimes it's really hard to be your friend. You said you were gonna support me. Donkeys! Don't, don't go away. My heart. Why you dunking me, girl? Why you dunking me? Donkeys! My heart. How do you like them donuts? I'm so sorry. You had to see it, but I forgive you. Lay us on the track. Are we gonna be on the album? We talked about this. Let's go. You're blinded by them pinstripes. Wrap it up. Here goes Babe Ruth. Tom, you can stay. 
You remember what I told you I'd do anything for you? This is anything. Chill. They're naming a drink after us. The genius of this was that, you know, Duncan's a New England, Boston brand. That's where they're from, and they're, they're proud of it. People from Boston are proud of it. They wear it like a badge of honor or like a tracksuit of honor, maybe. So in this commercial, Ben actually turned up his Boston accent pretty bad and uh, <laughs> hit himself. And the, and the tracksuits they're wearing have all kinds of Boston references on them. The type even looks like the Red Sox type. So And they even got Tom Brady, Tom Brady, to participate. Come on, Tom Brady. But it wasn't just a hit. It sparked a fashion frenzy. People were clamoring to get these tracksuits. They didn't know they were for sale when the commercial came on. So then they announced they were going for sale, and they sold out in 19 minutes. Really? So this ad was a huge, huge hit. I don't think they knew that they were selling the tracksuits until people started looking for them, I guess. And so they put them up for sale on their site. And it says they sold out in 19 minutes. Now, I don't know if they had 200. I don't know if they had 20. I don't know if they had 2,000 or 20,000. But they sold out in 19 minutes. You know, I could... I have five things for sale. It's going to take me 19 minutes to sell them, sure. But anyway, I mean, they say they're going to bring them back. But here's the next thing. If you go to the Duncan website, it bounces you over to this default page and says, follow Duncan to see what's coming. So it would be smarter if I could leave my email address and you send me an email when they're available or whatever. And I know Duncan sells other stuff, other merch stuff. So they don't have anything right now. Another cool thing about this is all the behind the scenes stuff they got. They've got this one where they're throwing a football in the parking lot in between takes. So all they did was, you know, people stood around with the cameras and, you know, in between stuff and they videotaped the guys hanging out. What they got out of this was a ton of social stuff that they could use. Put it on Instagram, put it on X, put it on uh, TikTok, all that stuff. And it's funny because instead of throwing it through a tire, they're throwing it through a donut. That's kind of fun. And there's a few of these hanging around. Like there's one where they're playing catch with each other and Ben Affleck says, no, throw it to me hot. Throw it to me hot, hot with his Boston accent. It's pretty funny. Put it right in here, Tommy. And he <laughs> he can't take it. It's too much. I mean, all these little clips and stuff are things that stand on their own. Even if you haven't seen the mad ad, they're just fun. Still says Dunking. It's still branded. They still have the outfits on. Oh, and I want to show this other video. Matt Damon even appeared on Colbert and brought Colbert his own tracksuit as well. So it's pretty funny. Here's a video. May I? <laughs> May I be a Dunking? Yes. There you go. Yes. There you go. Oh, my God. This is, this oh, is it's fantastic. So comfortable over a suit. All right. Oh, perfect. Fantastic. We need the glasses. It's yeah. nice. That, by the way, the only qualification for being a Dun King is the willingness to put this on. <laughs> so you're in the band. So if you run the numbers, it's all about numbers and ROI, right? Super Bowl ad generated 100 million plus views, 125 million views on the ad itself. Behind the scene content has generated, this was as of Wednesday, generated 50 million views, probably more than that by now. The merch made a big ruckus. I don't know what it cost them to make that ad. You got to pay Ben Affleck and Matt Damon and Tom Brady probably a couple million bucks. I don't know how much they get. So maybe it cost them $10 million to make this whole thing. But they got their money's worth. I think they got their money's worth out of it because people are loving it. Duncan. I'm a Duncan fan too. I will say this. I went to a Duncan store by me. They had none of this stuff. A friend of mine, Mike Holden, uh, I think he's in Baltimore. He went to a Duncan and they had all kinds of posters and displays and stuff promoting their iced coffee and the munchkin skewers and everything else. I went to the Duncan by me. None of that stuff. But I'm in Texas. We're not a real big Duncan area. But still, they should have this stuff everywhere, right? Nothing here. You know, it's funny. You have to look at those ads to see they're actually talking about it. At the very end of one of them, Ben Affleck says, two words, Dunking's Ice Coffee. Two words, Dunking's Ice Coffee. Which is not really two words, but it's really funny. That's it for Duncan. That's all I got for this one, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for listening. Appreciate your time. Don't forget to check us out on all the socials. If you liked it, tell your friends. If you didn't like it, tell your friends. See you next time. Thanks for watching, y'all. YouTube's going to show you one more video. Sorry. How is it? Over here? It's over here. Thanks for watching, y'all. YouTube's going to show you two more videos right here. Pick one of those. <laughs> what a mess. What a deal. End.